All my life I've believed that the best form of patriotism uh, is internationalism. My first political memories are of Franco's guards in Spain. I was thrown out of Chile in 1986 for attending a funeral of a lad who'd been set on fire by Pinochet's police. And I distrust politicians who spuriously use the national security argument to launch campaigns against migrants, refugees and ethnic minorities. I fear the turn this world is taking towards nas narrow nationalism, yeah, yeah. protectionism and demagoguery. Distrust of those who are different from us can all too often, not always, but all too often, turn to hatred of foreigners, and that way lies the trail to war. I know that is not the tradition of the Rhonda. We were built on migrants from England, from Scotland, from Ireland, from Italy. And this country was built on the sweat, the courage, the ingenuity and the get-up-and-go of Huguenots, Normans, Protestants fleeing the Inquisition, Irish Catholics free, fleeing famine, Jews escaping persecution, Polish Ironmen, Spanish nurses, Indian doctors and Afro-Caribbeans who wanted to help make this country great. So I have stood at every election on a platform and a manifesto, a party manifesto, that said that we would stay in the European Union. That was my solemn vow um, to the voters of the Rhonda. Now, I lost that vote, I admit it. I lost it in my constituency, but I haven't lost my faith. It remains my deep conviction that leaving the European Union, especially on the terms that the government seems to expect, will do untold damage to my constituents, especially the poorest of them. It's so dangerous, this moment, because the government has stated that this moment is irreversible. This is it, folks now or never. In the most uncertain of times, we are being asked to vote for a completely unknown deal. Yes, I know we're going to leave the European Union. I know the House will vote for that. My vote can't change that. But I believe this bill, this way of Brexiting, will leave us poorer, weaker and at far, far greater danger in Europe and in the West and in this country. And so, Mr Speaker, I say, not in my name. Never, never, never.